and Sid. Welcome to the sports show, Sid. We'll get to that in a minute. Mike, Max, Patrick, Gracie, Eric Nelson, and the Sid Hartman. A lot we can talk about. Let's start with what we were talking about before we went on the air, and that's $2 billion for the Clippers. How does that change the landscape of sports? Well, it's going to affect the price. Uh, uh, we bought the Lakers in 1946 <laughs> for $15,000. <laughs> and then Bob Short bought it for 550000 From you? From, from us. And then he moved it to LA, LA and sold it to Bus. No, no, no. Cook. Bus? Jack 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 Jack. Five million, and Butts bought it for sixty million. That's the Lakers. They, they got Lakers. something. They probably got something that's worth three billion. The uh, good news here is uh, that the capital gains tax, uh, twelve million, he paid for it. He's getting two billion. Uh, the state of California and the uh, United States government are going to do very well on this deal. Wow. It's going to—they're going to get over a billion bucks of this deal, so that's good. So, what, what do you, what's your take we'll on this effect? Uh, the the uh, tax is 20 percent the capital gains. But then there's, uh, isn't there other taxes to, that can be applied though? 20 percent. This, this guy would want more about that tonight. <laughs> All right. Well, gee, I was hoping California. for a million. California's, California's got a, got a yeah. tax, though, yeah, too. About a 10 percent tax. You said they yeah. got a 7 percent here on capital games, right? Yeah. 20 percent. 20 percent. Yeah, but here it's like 7. Okay, right? so that's 400 million, and then another 7 percent is uh, 140 million, so 540. Build some nice parks. Yeah, right. Yeah. What's your take on how this affects sports? I think NFL, if I own an NFL, everybody's talking about what it does to the NBA franchise. I don't think it makes Glenn Taylor's franchise worth a lot more money unless he's willing to move it. Uh, but uh, I think it makes NFL franchises worth unlimited money. Whatever, you'll never see well, an NFL team sold so for... So you're saying yeah. Ziggy Wolf may have yeah. been... Yeah, Ziggy's. The Vikings are now worth $3 billion. Well, I, I agree with him. Once the stadium opens. But this guy wanted in the game so badly. He tried to get the Milwaukee Bucks. He wanted to put a team in Seattle. He's a Microsoft guy. That's Seattle territory. Here's the and point. he wanted in the game, and he overpaid to get in the game. They're still going to go by what they can make. I mean, this guy has made $2 billion. He, first of all, he's got several billion. First of all, and he, second of all, you want to own a team. Nobody's going to pay a billion dollars for the Timberwolves, I'll tell you that. But well, no, that's what if, I'm saying. If the Bucks are 550 and they're 2 billion, yeah. the Timberwolves may have gone to 650. Yeah. It'll depend on what it earns and what it loses. The Clippers make a lot of money. They got a heck of a deal. It's at Los Angeles. Don't forget that. Yeah, but Sid, they're that. not even the main tenant of the arena. I mean, the Lakers own the arena basically. So uh but they, but they are the best at basketball team in L.A. right now. Yeah. They have more upside than the Lakers right and now. And I'll yeah. tell you what, it's going to be a battle now. I, the, the clip, every Hollywood do-gooder <laughs> that there is is going to be, be sitting yeah. courtside yeah. at Clippers no, games No, now. they go to Kings games now, yeah. Patrick. Clippers <laughs> sell out every game. I know, yeah. but I mean, see, they're going to, their prices are going to go up. Sure. Oh, sure. Yeah. Eric, what do you think? You, you grew up there. Yeah, well, there, there's definitely the Hollywood factor, like Sid said. I mean, it's Los Angeles, second biggest media market. You can only imagine what an NFL team might, uh, you know, cost on the market now if they ever go there. It, it could be $3 billion. Yeah. Sid, you were going to say something? Well, as far as an NFL team, Tim Liawicki uh, was pushing for an NFL team, and one of the reasons he's no longer there, that owner didn't want an NFL team. He's not so sure that after they failed there a couple of times okay. that they would be okay. investing a ton of money. Said, don't you think that the big problem with Anschutz and was that he didn't want to finance the stadium by himself? It, that was the I think that wasn't the owner paying for the team. Right. It was it was financing the stadium for by himself. But how can LA not make it in the NFL right now, Pat? Oh, they 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 will. They'll be back. I mean, I mean with all you've got coming in and media money before you ever start. You're going to end up with 34 teams, L.A. Yeah. and London. Oh, yeah. L.A. and London oh. within five years. Don't you think, Sid? No doubt about it. Uh, that's what Sterling is doing. Sterling's job no, is... No, no, you're talking NFL. 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 NBA. Huh? NBA. NFL. NFL. NBA could, too. NBA could go to London. NBA, Stern, his job now 
is to set up franchises in London, Paris, places like that. That's what he's doing. NFL is a sense of a four-team division. One of these years, London, Paris, uh, towns like that. A couple others over there. <laughs> well, <laughs> you you're, I think you'll go to L.A. and London here shortly. And, it, it, and, and London is the one place, NFL is the one place where London works. You get on a plane, you go over there. So what? Well, and they have the, you know, the potential TV market. It's all about TV sets. And they got a lot of transplants. Think about L.A., though. Is, is there no further along now in getting an NFL team than they were 10 years ago when Houston was supposed so, to go so, there? So are they just the a caveat that exactly. the NFL keeps, they make so much money by just having them They're the Dallas, wedge. Right. Uh, the they question, threaten Minnesota. Big question is, NFL football, soccer is so popular over there. Can NFL football overcome soccer? No. I was no, at the well, game in London. Next day in the London papers, the Vikings and Steelers got a small article, and there was 30 articles on soccer and rugby. That big I'm not kidding you. Speaking either. of international sports, how stupid are the Timberwolves <laughs> to agree to go back to Mexico City after last year's fiasco? What the hell's wrong with Glenn Taylor? Why is he going back to Mexico City? How idiotic bring, bring are Bring that they? up. We're, we're at the break. Bring that up. There's a lot of Timberwolves things to talk if about. If I was a Timberwolf, I'd say, I'm not going. The hell with you. I did it last year. I'm Rubio. I'm not going. Well, they didn't have any choice. Why? The league makes a decision. Well, they should have told them the hell with you. We did it last year, and you couldn't get the game played because the arena caught uh -huh. on fire. And they lose a home game. <laughs> like the Edelman's not here. Cool. There were Edelman. no chance. And by the way, I think it should, you should get more for your column. I'm going to talk to Taylor about that. Per column? Per I think you should get a couple hundred dollars more per each oh, column. Sure. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to talk to Taylor about that. Stay yeah. with us. The Sports Show is brought to you in part by Canterbury Park 24-7 Card Club. Don't forget the Card Club at Canterbury Park. Cambria, makers of quality quartz surfaces. Ticket King, for the best price on tickets anywhere, try Ticket King. And Soundpoint Audiology, life is worth hearing. Quality, it's the result of shared values. The joy found in an honest day's work, respect for true American craftsmanship, and the need, not the want, to get things right. It's the result of remembering your roots, being forever humbled by how far you've traveled and forever hungry to push on further. Quality is a result. Quality is who we are. Cambria. Family owned. American made. Now there's a luxury crossover that comes with everything you desire. Design, elegance, ease, and spaciousness. Even exploding juice boxes and sticky fingers will warm your heart. The Infinity QX60, and now the all-new QX60 Hybrid with best-in-class combined fuel economy. Lease the all-wheel drive Infinity QX60 for $4.69 a month. Visit your local Infinity retailer. It's the meal of the day at Subway. Now get a 6-inch sub, chips, and a 21-ounce drink for just $5.50, featuring a different 6-inch sub each day, like the turkey breast and black forest ham on Monday, the spicy Italian on Tuesday, the tempting turkey breast on Wednesday, the Italian BMT on Thursday, or the tantalizing tuna on Friday. It's the $5.50 meal of the day, all day, every day at Subway. Looks like the Garcia's got a new car. What'd they get? I don't know. Sure doesn't look like a Buick. I'm outside. Where are you? I'm right here. I'm in the Buick. I don't see a Buick. Take a fresh look at Buick. It just might surprise you. Oh, that's not a Buick. That's what I told him. Wow. This is nice. Oh, my. Enjoy the dealer experience ranked highest by J.D. Power. And lease this 2014 LaCrosse for around $2.99 per month when you switch to Buick. Audi A4 drivers have spoken. And they rank the A4 highest in total quality index in its class. Experience the new Audi A4 at your local dealer today. 
street is filled with hopes and dreams. The only thing you need is the right partner. The beacon of light that shines that says we are in this together. That is Beacon Bank. Locally owned and community committed. They understand what you need. And they are your personal answer. Your friend in business and in life. Allow the folks at Beacon Bank to be a part of your life. Because they make dreams come true. Beacon Bank. It's a member of the FDIC and an equal housing lender. Looking for a nice, big, juicy rack of ribs? Fabulous chops, huge steaks, and the Buddy Bowl? Then J.D. Hoyt's is the place for you. Hoyt's opened in 1983, and Mike Andrews and his partner, John White, have kept this Minnesota tradition at the top of the food chain. Managing owner, Pat Montague, gives us a tour. At J.D. Hoyt's, enjoy a relaxed atmosphere, great food, friendly service, private dining room, second to none happy hour, and great outdoor dining, just blocks from the new ballpark. Located at 394 in North Washington, locally owned, nationally known, Hoyt's. J.D. Hoyt's, locally owned, nationally known, on your way to the Spins game or anything going on downtown, stop by J.D. Hoyt's, Pat and the group will greet you, welcome back to the sports show. So where do we go from here, Patrick, you were gone last week, a few things have happened, Kevin Love's been in Boston watching the Red Sox play. Why would you want to go there? They're not going to win. Do they got a master plan? I don't know. Where, they're where not going to Why would Kevin cap? Love want to go to Boston? They're, they're as close to winning as we are. They got two. They got a seventh rounder, a seventh pick, and a sixteenth yep. pick. But why would he want to go to Boston? I don't I'll, know. I'll tell you why, why they would want to trade him to Boston because Flip wants him to go to the East. That's what he cares about first and foremost. He's got to trade him somewhere. So now you narrow the scope because he doesn't want him in the West. Here's so, go to so now you're down to what? You're down to Here's Cleveland, New York, Here's Boston. I mean, places that Love would go to. Here's a problem. He wants to go to a winner. Every winner has got a salary cap problem. If they get him, they're going to have to get rid of somebody else. Right. And that's going to be a problem. And they'll trade those people. Yeah. And the you know, trouble instance, with Chris Humphreys <clears throat> is off their books Here's now. also the trouble with going to a winner. If you're a winner, your draft choices aren't worth a right. damn. Unless your draft you have, choices you have a trade. are no goal. So that's why I say it's going to be very difficult for him to select a team he wants to play with. Yes. I, I think Cleveland. You get the lottery pick. They got Irving. LeBron yeah, goes he, back. Then, then, they're, then they're getting him for one year. There's no well, way. It, I don't care it, what anybody says. There's no way in God's earth Kevin Love, if he won't sign here, is going to sign if, a long-term if deal Le, if, if they know LeBron will go back, he will. And, and they all conspire not, now anyway. LeBron's not going back. He's not going to Cleveland. He's not going to. I would say Boston. They got so many draft choices. They got a bunch of number ones in the future. And, well, uh, that'd be good, but I just don't know why he'd want to go there. But yeah. okay, so you do that. So you do that deal. The Timberwolves are right back to where we've been for 15 years. So, oh, we got some yeah, draft but, picks. Oh, we got some salary cap but, money. Oh, we got this. But hey, here's the deal. Everybody's saying, oh, well, they're going to be terrible if they don't have them. They were terrible this year as far as fan interest. Kevin Love just had Joe Maurer 2009 season. This is the best he's ever going to be this year. This is it. This is the best he's ever going to be. He might be close to this, but he ain't going to get better. Okay. And you had nobody at the ball. Game. You had nobody at target. You Which, started charging major league prices again, and people stopped coming to the game. But does that make it even more dire then? Because no. It's, what nothing. difference does it make if you go down 10% from nothing? To me, if, if what, but, but <laughs> Maxi, what's your option if he's not going to sign? Yeah, you got to trade, trade him. him. Yeah. You got to trade him. But I'm, my point is, this this franchise is no different than it was. How? Is Ever. he going to get okay. that $26 million? Seth, that's what I want to know. That's all BS. That's because you can give him one more year here. Yeah. But he still gets that one more year at the end mm -hmm. of his next contract. He's 29 years old. He'll get it. He'll get 23 of the 26 back. Yeah. Plus, you know. He can get both. He can get the 26 I know. Thing here. Okay. And he can get the 23 But he's like every NBA guy. They don't want to build something and and become a, they don't want to make themselves a champion 
in a market, they want somebody to put them in a situation where they can't lose. Yeah, but I, and I think he's also, if you need three stars to win in the NBA, he's your two guy. I don't think he can oh, put a no. team on his back not, not and be the one guy. He not needs anymore. to go somewhere where they already have an established what do you mean, star. Not anymore. Not anymore. No, I don't think ten, he's the guy. No, no, I think he is. Really? He's, he's one of the ten best players in the league. I mean, you, well, there's a lot. He doesn't guard anybody, but who cares? His production is but, unbelievable. But to your point, though, as good as he was with those cartoon-like numbers, they didn't make the playoffs with him. Yeah. I don't think he can carry a team. What is holding up this coaching search? Holding up this coaching and search? Do you, think, do you think Flip will pull the trigger on a veteran coach, or do you think he'd prefer to have someone that he can control more? I think he'd rather have somebody he can control. But, I think but would that be best for the franchise? He's going to do what's best for Flip Saunders. <laughs> That's what he's going to do. And my, my thought is still, if he can get somebody that Taylor really likes, he's going to convince Taylor so he can coach. You know what Dark Star said when my dear friend Suture asked him what the uh, point of his show was? Uh, Dark said, I have one thought when the microphone goes on. What can the next three hours do for me? Dark star. <laughs> <laughs> if the audience happens to enjoy it, it's a bonus, huh? Speaking of which, it is the two-year anniversary since we lost Dark yes, Star. I today, just talked to Tom right. Kelly about that the other day. Yeah, and, uh, today, right? June yeah, 1st. today, yeah. Boy, yeah. Every, I don't know about you all, but uh, every but once a day, there's a flashback oh, of something, yeah. Patrick. Yeah, I'm watching again. There's no right doubt in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> or we can move on to a different Good topic that Sid's more comfortable with. Hey, where, where? Go ahead. The agent's doing all the talking. The agent is trying, just like he said, the agent is trying to get the best deal for him, the best percentage of money he's going to get. Wherever he can get the best percentage of money of the contract, Whatever, 6%. Love? What are you talking about? Love. The who agent. We, who are we talking about? Love? Love. The agent's yeah, coming. Love. love again, yeah. Love, okay. Love. Okay. Okay, well, we'll pick it up. Come back. Sports show. Stay with us. Attention. Please get a pencil. Announcing a hearing breakthrough, a microchip that is so small it can fit on the head of a pen, worn hidden entirely in your ear canal, making you hear clear as a bell and it's proudly made in the USA. Do you feel left out of conversations? Is it difficult to hear words in noisy environments? Do others say that you listen to the TV or radio too loudly? Do you feel like a bother to others due to your problems hearing? If you answered yes, you may qualify for this new chip in the ear. Only 50 participants are needed to try this microchip, so get a pencil. Call now to see if you qualify. This revolutionary chip actually mimics the natural sound selection of the human ear. With multi-core microprocessors, technology used in the most advanced computers, sounds are analyzed and classified each millisecond, controlling noise and making speech clear. Do not wait. Call now to see if you qualify to wear this revolutionary new microchip. Evidence that proves my dad's a space alien. He speaks a weird language. Drinks green stuff. He says he's from Albuquerque. I'm not buying it. I mean, just look at him. And one more thing, he has a spaceship. The evidence doesn't lie. My dad is an alien. The highly advanced Audi A6, named the car and driver's 10 best. Experience exceptional value on the Audi A6 at your local dealer today. There it is, out in Minneapolis, right off of Wysetta Boulevard, General Mills Boulevard on 394. Stop on by, see Charlie and the gang. Check out an A4. Just drive it once and see what you think of it. So how far are the Timberwolves away? Here's what I'm saying. Okay. The Clarify all this, because I've been a little bit confused here. The agent gets a percentage of whatever love signs for. Yes. So the agent is trying to find a deal first That'll take care of him. So and then... Said, but Love has to be happy with where he's going. Then he has to convince Love that's the best deal. Yeah, but Sid, Love is going to get the maximum wherever he goes. Yeah. So what difference... Yeah, there, there is, you're right. There's no I more... Mean, they'll gonna pay get, him whatever the most is they can pay him. maximum here, but right. they're going to pay him... A, whatever it is they can pay, they can pay him, pay right? Him. I, I don't get... I don't think the agent is... 
is, uh, is well, uh, I'm betting that love will be here next year. Well, okay. and they'll work something out. Okay. I, uh, that's what I think. The, so I don't even think the boss slip agrees with you anymore. <laughs> yeah. Hey. I mean, uh, all this propaganda is, is, I'm not saying it's propaganda, but the agent is creating all the talk. I started. Well, and, and if Love well, didn't like that, he'd and, fire his agent. And Kevin Love being in Boston looking at the city yeah. probably well, helped feel and, the and, room. And, and, and they tell and, me this agent, this wagon, is as tough as they get. And you know we'll who see. was a dinner, uh, he went to dinner with? Who? Darrell Rivas, who's basically on a rented deal with the Patriots. So they're probably figuring out a way to get the best rented deal. So we'd have Garnett having gone there, Moss yeah. having gone David there. David Ortiz. Now, Manny Fernandez, David Ortiz. How do you know that's up in Boston, Zachary? Well, because they had pictures of him Boston in Boston. Globe. Boston they Globe reported it. Photos of him in Boston, <laughs> said. I know, he's in Boston. Boston oh, Globe. Well. Maybe he's in Boston for other reasons. Oh, okay. He's well, hanging that's out with Darrell But you were, I thought you were denying <laughs> that he, he was in Boston. He wouldn't have to go to Boston. He's been to Boston enough times to know what the situation is. Okay. He Unless, doesn't have to go to maybe Boston. Maybe he's got a girlfriend in Boston. And furthermore, if they wanted to keep it quiet, Danny Ainge would have met him some other place, like in Chicago or somewhere. Like Danny that. Ainge can't meet with a guy that's under contract. Yeah. You would never have done that for the Minneapolis Lakers. I don't I know, know if they. <laughs> that's tampering. Exactly. He's under contract. I got a question for Maxie. <laughs> yeah. As a as a star player in an over 35 league. Yeah, back in the day, hitting lead off. What do you see in Joe Bauer's swing? I was going to ask you this. Why? I don't, I don't know. understand I can't why break he's, it down. he's swinging through pitches, which is something he never did. You know, I mean, it's one thing to battle him, blah, 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 but, but he, he's swinging through. He's, I talked to somebody that, that saw him growing up, and they said, you know, we expect that from mortals, but we've never seen this from him. And he thinks that Joe's really struggling with it up here because don't he's you, never done it don't before. Don't you think it's longer? Don't you think his swing is it longer? It might be because usually that's what it is if you're. God, he never hits the ball hard. This bullshit. Uh, dung <laughs> about uh, him hitting the ball these hard outs. B.S. He never hits the ball hard. You know, I know the shifts have hurt him because they've taken away the four hopper up the middles and out. But Tanaka and the only yesterday. Yeah. Well, the other day, uh, the reliever from uh, blah, 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 Texas. Uh, Texas threw an 87 mile hour fastball past him. I just can't believe that. Couldn't catch it. Not, you know, he doesn't, your, doesn't get the ball in the fat. He doesn't hit the ball in the fat part of the bat. Sid? Well, so far, maybe he's hurt and won't talk about uh, any injury, but he's telling people he's he's healthy. And uh, I don't know, this doesn't have anything to do with it, maybe, but uh, he really wanted to keep on catching. There's no doubt about it. They they convinced him to play first base. Well, I'll tell you what, if he's, he remains as productive as he is, they might as well put him back behind the catcher and let him play 100 games and take 60 well, off. I, I disagree. Yeah. they got a better hitting catcher now, Kurt Suzuki. <laughs> I, I, and, oh, I love Suzuki. Well, there's this theory that be, when he was catching, he could learn the strike zone from the umpire, and that now he doesn't know the strike zone Boy, because he's at first base. But that doesn't wash because most catchers don't hit that high. For an well, average. most first basemen are under the same scrutiny, right. and they, David right. Ortiz hits and Helton hits, and those guys have hit. The you know. sad thing is he looks pitiful at the plate. Striking right. out with guys on base, yeah. time after time after time, they could have won several ball games had he been able to get a base yes. hit. Let's yeah. finish it up. When we come back. Stay with us in the sports show. If you guys could go on a free shopping spree anywhere, where would you go? I'd go to the grocery store. Pizza, ice cream. I'd go shop for clothes. You know where I go? I go to Ticket King. Ticket King! At Ticket King, you can buy great seats for the Vikings, Christian Ponder, The Wild, Zachary, The Timberwolves, Rookie Love. Love, and of course, the Twins. We, we love the Twins! Yep, this is where I go Vikings, Twins, Wild, Timberwolves, Gophers, Theater, and Concerts, too. Justin Bieber! First. For details, go to TicketKingOnline.com. Any ticket, anytime, anywhere. It's the real thing. It's Ticket King. Right, Dad? Couldn't have said it any better myself. That's, That's for right. sure. Main Street is filled with hopes and dreams. The only thing you need is the right partner. 
The beacon of light that shines that says we are in this together. That is Beacon Bank. Locally owned and community committed. They understand what you need. And they are your personal answer, your friend in business and in life. Allow the folks at Beacon Bank to be a part of your life because they make dreams come true. Beacon Bank is a member of the FDIC and an equal housing lender. There it is, Beacon Bank, responsive, reliable, reassuring, Bob Weiss and the whole gang. Great place to bank. That's Rob Bank, Beacon Bank. Welcome back. I want to raise a little more hell about our twins, too. Well, I was going to ask who's the all-star representative going to be for the hometown Not game. Not Dozier. He's in the 230s now. They're going to have a hard time. So you time. get Phil Hughes and Perkins. Perkins, yeah. Uh, but here's the deal. Last year, Arcia, last week of the season, he's playing. He backs into the outfield fence during BP on Monday. He doesn't play again the rest of the year. Right. Because he got a little crook in his neck. Yep. So now the message is sent. You don't have to play here if you don't want to. So this spring, he misses eight days with food poisoning. Then he comes back and he's got a. They want to call him the big leagues. So they now he he wants to play, I think, and he's back. But now Santana, they they're so sick of Hicks act, they can't stand him anymore, and I don't blame him. He can't play. I mean, he can play center field. So they put Santana in the field. He, uh, his helmet pops up, cuts his eye. Two days later, he still hasn't played. Seven stitches in his eyelid. He still hasn't played. Okay, Danny. You can play whenever you want to. You can you can take a month off. Put him on a 60-day disabled list. He's got a cut on his eye. Do you think, they drive me nuts. But, play. But do you think that's Santana, or do you think that's a trainer saying Oh, I up? think it's the guardian, the trainers, not putting any pressure on a guy to play. Santana Sit. can play center field? I think if you let him play there two weeks, he'd be fine. Yeah, but he's got some juice in his offense, unlike Hicks, who's got no chance. Yeah, well, they're a soft baseball team. They have been for years. And... Look, they should be looking in the mirror when they wonder why they don't have a center fielder. They gave away Ben Revere. Gave him away. Where's Vance Worley now? They probably it's could get him back. Well, he's Revere had a home run the other night, I saw. I, I know, know. I but he ain't done anything for them. Yeah. Yeah, but he's, so he's better than what the Twins he have. Show up. And he's a spark plug. They could get him back if they really want him. Are, are you satisfied with the progress you're seeing from the Vikings with the new coaching staff? Yeah. Players win. <laughs> All I know... Is will they replace Gerard Allen, Henderson, uh, Cook, Cook, even Cook? Cook wasn't that great. But, but they, they brought get, Brinkley yeah. back, and last year you were very concerned that they had lost Brinkley. They brought him <laughs> back for that very reason. So why, I don't understand. There have been linebackers okay. on the field for at least seven plays a, a game, game now, game and now, especially yeah. in the SEC. Brought him back because they're, he was what they were, what was available on the market. Who plays the most games of quarterback, Eric? Uh, Matt Castle. Castle plays them all, unless he gets hurt. Sid? We'll see. <laughs> he plays them all unless he gets hurt. Darv Turner is going to give Ponder every yeah. chance <laughs> okay. in the world all right. to do something, okay? Yeah. Castle, right. Bridgewater, then Ponder. How that? My <laughs> Castle got released by Kansas City. What makes you think he's a big star? He had a Pro Bowl year there, though. Not huh? a big star. He had one year in a Pro Bowl down there. He had one star. good year. We, well, how many is Ponder? I wasn't, I wasn't, Are I was you guys just a young what? kid, but. They're going to hey, give Ponder Does this Ponder remind you of time. Sneed, Quazzo, and Bob Berry, or whatever it was, or Bob <laughs> Lee back in the day? Where a little bet. All of them show a couple things, but. Uh, you know, if they call Tarkington, he might come back, too. <laughs> <laughs> all I know is Nerve Turner said to me, the guy does a lot of good things. I want to see him on the field before I make a decision whether he can play quarterback. Ponder, you mean? You're right. And Bridgewater? Bridgewater, they, they don't. don't think Bridgewater's ready to play, so I don't know. Well, how would they know? There's He's been like four OTAs. Isn't he in Louisville? Oh, yeah. no, he was at some camp, so he, he'll be back. The, the, he was at the uh, rookie yeah. thing. Well, interesting phone call this morning. Somebody suggested to you that the Wolves should think outside the box and look at Cheryl <laughs> Leave as the next head coach. <laughs> you had an interesting response. <laughs> Maybe a football player, he could coach too. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching the sports show. See you back here next week, everybody. Have a good week. Somebody the sports show is brought to you in part by Canterbury Park 24 7 Card Club. Don't forget the card club at Canterbury Park. Cambria, makers of quality court services. Ticket King, for the best price on tickets anywhere, try Ticket King. And Soundpoint Audiology, life is worth hearing.